Now let's put together this super accurate crosscut sled. We're gonna put our runners on by using some washers to raise them up and some super glue. I like to use my table saw fence to get it sort of square to the runners. You're obviously gonna square it up later. Let's add a chamfer to the fence so the dust doesn't collect and put in our T-trap. Now we're gonna go ahead and screw in the runners, but you wanna make sure they don't go through to the base. And we're gonna chamfer those corners so it slides in easier and wax it so it moves nice and smoothly. Now to do this five cut method, we're only gonna attach two screws, a pivot screw and one that we're only gonna use that hole one time. We're gonna run our five cut method using the free calculator over on our website, input our values, and you'll see we need to move it towards us 0 0.009. We're gonna use a feeler gauge to do that, remove the screw, put in one new screw, make sure to X out that old hole so your fence doesn't move back to where it is. Run the five cut method again, look at that, perfectly square add some more screws. Now it's time to put a stop block. I love my Katz Moses Universal No Deflection Stop Block. Thanks for watching.